have got involved over 105,000 votes right across Twitter and you guys have assembled this team. This is it. Ben, talk us through the forwards. Yeah, obviously uh, a lot of red and white. No other uh, teams mentioned in that. But um, I think, you know, Vunapola probably stands out because he didn't play that much of the game. So he could have easily put Evans in there consistently good across the tournament. But when he was there, uh, his work rate, absolutely superb. Uh, big battle between Owens and George. That was the closest in terms of the voting. Only 2% between them. Maybe be slightly more around the field with ball in hand but his leadership and what he did in the tight absolutely superb I think this picked itself George Cruz on absolute fire having had that dip after the Lions tour is now back absolutely at his best and this man who was already yep. world class probably the best one of the the best lock in, in, in world rugby is playing even better now and his leadership qualities were a huge part of them winning the uh, the Grand Slam and I kept you know, I think they, they kept these two guys together because as a tandem, the Welsh back row uh, worked really, really well. Navidi was absolutely everywhere, head over the ball. This guy giving them the go forward. They didn't miss Falatau at all. And what about this guy? Top tackler in the tournament, third best number of term turnovers, and he's only 20. He's only going to get better. Not too bad, Brian, the back line. Yeah, I just want to start with the back three. I think it picks itself. Um, as good as Alan Wynne-Jones was, I think Liam Williams is definitely vying for a player of the tournament. He was outstanding, particularly the big game against England. The find of the Six Nations, Josh Adams, yeah. outstanding, going back to Cardiff now next season. So he's going to be, we're going to see a lot of him in the, in the red jersey. Johnny May, for me, the most improved international player out there. Was, uh, we know he knows where the, where the try line is, but he was absolutely imperious in the air. I think centre's an interesting one where I think someone like John Davis would find it, you know, be pretty difficult to leave him out of them. It's, there's nothing between Slade and him. He was excellent in the first half uh, against Scotland. Um, Ali Parks, Brilliant defensively, but a, a, a mention for Sam Johnson. The Aussie that's playing uh, for Scotland was, ex was, was excellent and scored a cracking try on Saturday. The really interesting bit is halfback. So Dupont didn't play in the first game, was excellent against England when he came on, and then grew in a really disappointing French team. And then this guy, uh, Finn Russell. I, I'm not entirely sure because he was brilliant in patches, but if you're looking at someone that had a huge impact on the overall tournament, I think not even the starting 10 for Wales, but Dan Bigger, who came on, was, was really top quality in important key moments. So I think, for me, Dan Bigger would have been the guy in there. There you go. There's your team of the 2019 Six Nations.